and welcome back to Let's Play Live Alive. Last time, we cleared the Twilight of Edo Japan chapter with zero kills and 100 kills. Go us. There are a couple things in the chapter that I overlooked, passed over, or just otherwise didn't get to that I'll probably come back later in the LP to check out, but I don't want to dwell too long on this chapter, especially because we've already seen plenty from it as is. Let's just move forward for now. And where better to go than the old Wild West? We got a cowboy to play as. When I I first played this game on the uh, a, uh, emulated SFC version, this was the very first chapter I played, and that ended up being kind of a mistake, because it's uh, one of the more, uh, shall we say, offbeat chapters in the game. Not that I didn't enjoy it, mind you, but it wasn't at all what I was expecting. The American frontier is a place of foolish dreams and dashed hopes. A tired soul rides into a dying town, terrorized by outlaws. Success, they call it. Though look at it now. None can imagine why. Against a gang of villains, a lone gunslinger stands no chance. But perhaps, but, but perhaps by working together with the locals to prepare traps for the crazy bun before the crazy bunch arrives, one man may yet make a difference. Boy, my reading skills are on point. Let's get it started. Howdy, Sheriff. Something to drink? Nope, but I got something for you to post up. More trouble in these parts, huh? I swear. Thought it couldn't get any worse after that last bunch rolled in. Ever moniker. Much like how we were naming a style in the Imperial China chapter, we're not actually giving a true character name here. Instead, we've got a cool outlaw moniker. Not El Pendejo, but Sundown. Good, huh? Don't look all that young to me. Meeting you here, partner. Oh, why the long face? Reckon you'd be relieved to finally put this life on the lamb behind you. Honestly, a little gratitude would be appreciated. Come on, let's do this proper. Can I have people casting aspersions on the great bounty hunter, Mad Dog? No, sir. Never let it be said he shot an unarmed man in cold blood. How many times we done dance this dance now? 
<laughs> it's almost like saying goodbye to a lover. Bard had it right. Parting is such sweet sorrow. There in the back, there's a man in black, and his name is Mad Dog. We ourselves are the Sundown Kid, though there is nary a Butch Cassidy in sight. Boy, the homoerotic tension between these two is so thick you could practically shoot through it, which I think we're going to do. Sundown is equipped with the most traditional of JRPG weapons, the gun. You got the single shot, you got the double shot, you got the hollow point, and you got the through and through. Uh, these, of course, are jump type attacks, because I guess I had to classify them as something, while well, these two are uh, wind based attacks. As you can see, Mad Dog over there has a uh, jump resistance, so our best option is to hit him with a charging uh, wind attack. One thing to note, there is basically no reason to ever use single shot. Uh, double shot pretty much always does more damage, particularly in the SFC version where multi-hit moves are much, much stronger. Anyways, let's go for a hollow point on this guy here. If we're lucky, we might actually stun him. None of the combat in this chapter is too overly complicated, so in that sense, it's a decent uh, tutorial. May as well go for a double shot here, since being stunned greatly reduces his evasion, meaning that both hits will connect guarantee. No charge time there. Here he comes with his Sidewinder. Pretty strong attack there. But, sundown, he's on the quick draw counter. Now, you may be worried for Mad Dog, but don't worry. Again, this is a JRPG. Getting shot is not as fatal for your health as you'd think it would be. You son of a bitch! Finish me, goddammit! Don't you dare walk away from me again! Finish me! How dare you? Shooting at my Goldie? Killing a man is one thing, but you leave his horse out of it. I ain't done talking! Town. I'm going to disappoint you right now, viewers. We don't get to ride any horses in this chapter. What are you thinking? Hell of a place. Real popular, too. Is that a hint of sarcasm I detected there, Sundown? Anyways, the horse doesn't seem to mind that it's getting left behind. Where else to go in a new town but the saloon? Let's go on in. You know, I, I just want to say, I, I probably take the, uh, you know, like, menus and stuff being punctuated by a gunshot if I hadn't played uh, more, a bit more seriously if I hadn't played Shadow the Hedgehog before. Kind of ruined that concept for me. Nice. Push both those doors open. Didn't really feel like styling on it with a kick, though. Gotta not stress the people too much. Soy comandante de las yeguas, yo y yo solo. Cállate.
Boy, is it a funeral home in here? Can, can I help you? Um, uh, you a vaquero? Ah, maybe not. G greetings, my friend. We are all friends here. Tequila, yes. Tequila! I can get behind that. That's what you need, yes? See? Hey, that's a handsome fella in that poster right there. Wanted, dead or alive. The sundown kid. 5,000 bucks, pretty sweet for the Wild West era. Anyway, give me a drink, bartender. Howdy, stranger. Thirsty? Or uh, you got a hankering for something more substantial? Free of charge, of course. God damn, is it hot out there! Barkeep! The usual! Hmm? Hey, stranger! Seems you're sitting on my favorite stool. Hey! You deaf or just stupid? That's enough. Your name on it? Huh? Cause I don't see it, do you? Waltzing in here, acting like you own the place, without spending a dime. We don't need that kind of customer. No, thank you. Now, Annie, darling, there's no need to make a scene. Annie! Settle down now. Don't you talk to me like that. Big, strong men. Striding around like you own the place because of what you got dangling between your legs. Wayne! James! Clint! Cesar! You got cojones? Well, don't you? So use them! <laughs> oh, Annie. Full of fire and fury. Real Hellraiser. I love it. I mean it, darling. Be my woman. Get away from me! Annie, darling, I know you didn't just raise a hand to me. Cause there's some things a man cannot abide. Leave her alone. If it isn't the brave sheriff's little brat, here to save the day, huh? I hate to break it to you, kiddo. But I ain't got time for your shit! Whoops. Sorry about that, stranger. The boy was out of line, but I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Tell you what, let me buy you a drink to smooth things over. Barkeep! Milk for my new friend. Heads up! I 
figure that ought to suit a delicate flower like yourself. So, we could drink up the milk, but he will just endlessly slide milk towards us until we decide to send it back. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. What's this? You spitting on my generosity? How else am I to interpret the return of this milk I see before me? And to top it off, this hangover. But that's what I get for drinking the cheap piss they serve here. Let me guess. It's not that you hate milk, but that you can't stomach it, lest it's fresh from your mother's tits. Your mother's, maybe. Huh? Huh? You got a death wish? Got it? Alright, time to plug this guy with a couple bullets. This is Pike, and he is not much of a threat, really. One thing about the single shot, at least, is that it does have a further reach than the double shot. There we go. That was not much of a fight. As you'd expect of a gun battle, it's a bit quick on the draw, shall we say. This isn't over, you hear me? You get yours! You just wait and see! So then, you ain't riding with the crazy bunch. That was amazing! You gave Pike a hiding he won't never forget. With him on our side, I just know we can beat them! What's all the ruckus? Sheriff, this fella here, see, he, he just rode into town and... Oh, now you show up. In the nick of time, as always. My father, the sheriff. The coward! <sighs> Billy, son, try to understand. If we so much as look at these people the wrong way, there's gonna be hell to pay. But if we don't take a stand, then nothing will ever change! Ugh, oh, Annie, please. I don't want to hear it. Our sheriff, my brother, Every last man in this town is a coward! This boy here's got more courage than all of you put together! Sheriff, listen. This fella here, see, he, he just might be the answer. Alas, good people. I fear you have misjudged the content of that villain's character. A man's name is a story, and that one speaks volumes. You deserve to know, so I'll tell you. The kid. Yeah, that's right. That fares the devil himself. Wait a minute. It's him. On the wanted poster. Five thousand dollars.
dead or alive. And the one who's going to bring him in is me, Mad Dog. Liar! I am many things, boy, but I am no liar. You're a good guy, right, mister? I'm no saint. No. No! I don't believe it! <laughs> Always were lousy with the little ones, weren't you, kid? Gold is still out there, you know. Lost or dead in the desert. But you'll answer for that and everything else soon enough. Outside. Now. It's... It's a showdown! A showdown! A showdown. Don't even think about running. Well, heck, I don't have anything else going on. What do you think, Billy? You'll win, right? Uh, Barkeep? Uh, just, uh, nah, uh, I'll run around to get to him. Barkeep, what's your thoughts? That's really you up on the wall, isn't it? Yep, in the, well, not in the flash, in the paper. Wayne? Clint? Uh, not sure if I can do anything for you. Hmm, Annie? Do it or don't, but if you're gonna, do it outside. Sheriff, what a day. It's all gone to hell in a handbasket. I wish you luck, stranger. Surely there's no need for this. Why can't we all be friends? I would not want to face that pistolero. Eh, he's not so bad. Now there's a look I'd never seen on you before. Oh, a pang of sadness for the end of our extended association? <laughs> I understand, I truly do. But all good things must come to an end. And end it we will, kid. From 10 paces. Each man takes five. I'll count it off. On the fifth, we turn and fire. Agreed? Right then. One. Two. Three. Four. He's one of the crazy bunch. Those two gunslingers. How'd they know? Just my luck. These simpletons ruining a perfectly good duel. Wow! You both are incredible! With them backing us up, maybe, just maybe, we can take on the crazy bunch. Listen. I guarantee there's a whole lot more of them on the way, and they'll be out for blood now. You've got to help us fight! Well, when you put it like that, 
Not that I could ever muster the strength, but turn a woman down. Sorry, kid. But it seems our duel will have to wait. But only until after we've dealt with the crazy bunch. So, you know what they say, today's enemy is today's friend, and Mad Dog will be allying with us. Shooters. Dad will have a chance of beating him in a straight up fight. I tell you what, <laughs> dying heroically during a valiant last stand does not appeal to me one bit, no sir. Let's see what these folks can tell us about our would-be killers. Alright, let's ask around. Atrapados en la red del destino Sin poder escapar de este pueblo Donde la sangre fluye como el vino Solo somos humildes mariachi If I'm being honest, none of us are all that good with guns Just as likely to shoot each other as the crazy bunch there's got to be something we can do to help, isn't there? Hey, um, if you're serious about staying to fight, then it's only right that we fight too. That was some fine shooting, and that ain't no lie. But there's at least 15 more of those boys left. Ooh, boy, that's a crowd. You're both so fast. I just know we can get rid of those outlaws with your help. If you manage to get rid of those bastards, I promise you will we'll make it worth your while. We've got a little gold squirreled away. It's yours if we survive. Ah, oh, lady, I don't need your money. You know who leads them, don't you? The only uh, survivor of Custer Seventh, a devil who by all rights should be dead in dust. Oh, Dio, the outlaws call him. They flock to the man, their shepherd with a heart of stone. He'll have broken camp the moment he heard what you two did. He can't let it go unanswered. Oh, Dio, huh, eh? Hmm. Reckon you think the man who named this town success must have had a sense of humor, but you're wrong. Back in the day, the streets were filled with prospectors hoping to try to get rich in the gold rush. That's why the gangs come calling. Strip the carcass clean and the last few bits of meat on the bone. Alright, so we've got our backstory, we've got our premise. We have to set up a trap for the crazy bunch to hopefully thin their numbers and get more of a straight fight with Odeo. <laughs> so be it. If they've got us outnumbered, then we'll just have to even the odds before the big soiree. We ambush them, kid. We've got to prepare traps and whatnot to whittle down the gang when they ride in. That's how we'll win. Having said that... Feels a bit improper for us to do all the work given that this is as much your fight as it is ours, if not more. I'll help. Me too. I suppose I'll do what I can. Count me in. Honey. We already know nothing will change if we keep our heads down and stay quiet. I say enough is enough. Better to take a stand, come what may. But, honey, it's... it's not... She's right. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of them pushing us around. What about you, Cesar? Well... Yeah, yeah, I've had it up to here with them, too. It's happening. I, I knew they would. Then, my friends, the time has come. Por la libertad y justicia, los mariachis se unen a la revolución. Like something out of a fairy tale, is it? 
I believe the only one who has yet to declare their intentions is you, Sheriff. Uh, uh, uh. Billy, what are you doing with your father's badge? Here, mister. You deserve it. My pa... My pa ain't fit to wear that badge. I've been living in fear for the longest time. Terrified of what might happen if I dared do the right thing. But now I see. Sometimes you've got to brave the fire to forge a brighter future. They may call you the kid, but to me, here and now, you're a good man. The right man for the job. So hold on to that badge. And when the dust has settled, I pray I'll have done my part to earn it back. And with that, we get a sheriff's, ba sheriff's badge. Not much left to discuss then, I reckon. Me and the kid will scrounge up supplies for the ambush. No point in asking y'all for help. I wager we have a bit more experience with this sort of work. Time is of the essence, kid. Can't spend too long rummaging around either, or we'll run out of time to prepare. Mad Dog has formally joined us. They'll strike at dawn. That's their way. Soon as the sun crests the horizon, they'll come riding right into town from both sides. That means you got until the eighth bell to make your preparations. Only have one chance. We're not ready by the time they arrive. Anyway, when you've got everything you need, come back here. We're all ready and willing to do our part. Just say the word. So, we have our goal for the chapter, preparing for the Crazy Bunch. When the eighth bell rings at dawn, the Crazy Bunch will ride in the town. Listen carefully to Mad Dog's advice and work with the townsfolk to set traps before the outlaws arrive. There are two ways to spend your time before the Crazy Bunch come calling. Search the town for items that can be used for traps. Ask the locals to set traps with items in your inventory. Every moment counts, so think carefully before taking action. So yes, this is a... Word of advice, kid. Remember this moment. Save the memory if you take my meaning. In case it all goes sideways. Nice fourth wall fourth wall break there, mad dog. I can see why you're only level eight compared to my more studly level nine, which is incidentally what uh Obutter Obutter Mater finished at. That's uh all coming together. It's all coming together. But yes, we have eight uh tolls of the bell before our time is up. You didn't actually get a cool little clock graphic for this in the SMC version, so that's a nice change. Hey mister, think you could use this? Talking to Billy gets us our first trap, and as a matter of fact, may not know how to use a gun, but I'm a dead eye with my slingshot. We can have Billy set the slingshot, uh, but we uh, need to do some gathering before we start uh, actually setting anything. There are a variety of items to grab throughout the town. Uh, let me see, I think there's uh, one that we want to get. Uh, well, actually, I know that there's a couple we want to get in the saloon, so let's search everything in here. There's a bottle of Miracle Tonic. Empty. A flask of herbal liniment. The thing I'm looking for uh, that I want right now is the oil. There we go. Let's make our way upstairs and search thoroughly uh, up there. There are a couple things that we can grab up here. Inside That's, here. Uh, well, uh, how to explain. That there's one of my most prized possessions. See? <laughs> Poster of this dancing girl I fancy. Jennifer's her name. She's got this grace and power about her, you know? Sexy, but a little intimidating. But in a way that makes her even more appealing. Oh, well, it breaks my heart to part with it. But if you really need it, eh, so be it. 
Trust me, my dude, have you ever played a Metal Gear Solid game? I know exactly what to do with this. There are still yet more things to grab in the saloon, including something behind the bar counter. Hey! Anything but that! You hear me? Well then. <laughs> Best get a move on, kid. Hmm. If only there was a way we could search that without Annie interrupting us. I wonder what she's so defensive about there. Eh, probably nothing. Strip of jerky. Uh, let me see. I believe we already, uh, no, actually, we did not equip the sheriff's badge. Not that it actually does anything for us, but, you yeah, know, it's there. As you can see, Sundown is naturally immune, or not immune, but heavily resistant to, uh, jump attacks, since, of course, it's a good trait to have as a gunfighter. Well, the last thing we need to grab inside the, uh, let's see, push this over here. Check this out right here. And make our way down here. There's one last thing in particular that I'm looking for. Jacket. We could use uh, every bit of defense that we could get. Do a bit more for us than a uh, worn poncho. Here we can get pouch of oil, which will come in handy in a bit, in a bit. And an empty bottle. Here we go. Oil in a bottle makes for a quick and easy way to start a fire. It'll take a moment to prepare. Reckon it's worth doing? Oh, it's absolutely worth doing. Yeah. So, we can okay. make a firebomb here. Show you how it's done. There you go. Bottle fire. Just light her up and toss quick. So, yes, we can use the pouches of oil and empty bottles to make firebombs. However, be mindful that it consumes a little bit of your time on the time track in order to do so. As you can see right there, our foraging the First saloon. Mail has caused the first bell to toll, so we only have seven left. We want to move quickly throughout the town. Now, we need to get a handful of specific items. Uh, there are duplicates of each type of trap that you can set. However, only one actually accomplishes anything. Setting any more than one trap of a given type, let's see, Miracle Tonic, nothing too valuable there, will not actually accomplish anything for you. Let me see, uh, I believe we want to come in here next. Making our way into this little inn area, or this boarding house, will allow us to grab a couple more things. Heading behind these stairs here, there is a little hidden room tucked away. We can get a bundle of rope. Hmm, wonder if we could set that to trip somebody. Let me real quick check my list here. Uh, next we want to uh, head to the sheriff's office, so let's make our way over to that. Yeah, like I said, a bunch of items you can get duplicates of, but there really isn't that much reason to do so, because only one trap can be set. And if you're setting traps at all... Uh, okay, that was not the uh, sheriff's office, but we can check out in here while I'm uh, thinking of it, because there are a couple things for us to grab in the post office. I think they're duplicates, but it's not the end of the world if we, uh, you know, grab some extra jerky. Let's check this out here. I believe this is another empty bottle. And we're actually going to pass on making this firebomb here, since we don't really want to waste the time. Okay, now that I'm uh, done that, I can actually make my way over to the sheriff's office, but uh, let's uh, see. Like I said, don't really need to grab too many duplicates, although well, obviously getting as many healing items as possible, that could certainly help us. Now, you don't have to set any traps. You can just let the time tick on by. Get a Peacemaker here. Uh, I believe that's better than what uh, Mad Dog has equipped. Lowers his speed, but just increases his attack in general. We can put his Blunt Light Special in his offhand to get that speed right back. Empty chest here. And a stick of dynamite. That's the main thing we want to get from the sheriff's office. Uh, you can use it in battle as a damaging item, but it will not... Uh, be as effective as if you use it as a trap, because using it as a trap, of course, will just eliminate enemies entirely. With that taken care of, we've cleaned out the sheriff's office. Let's get to our next order of business. Let me see. I'm just a uh... second bell. That's two bells down, six to go. Still trying to remember where the diner is, so we'll just pop into different places. And if I'm in the wrong place, we can just pop back out. Let's see, Miner's Lodge, nothing for us in here. Luckily, every building has a name. What is this one? Let's see, this is the larder. This has the shovel for us. And is there anything else in here for us? 
Doesn't look like it, so we can move on out. Still not finding the diner. I can't remember where that is specifically. Uh, okay, we haven't been in here. Heading into this building. Ah, yes, here we go. This is where we needed to go. We got a pouch of oil. It'll take a moment. We don't need to make any more fire bombs. We just need the one. But the main thing we're looking for is the frying pan. You could equip it as an accessory, not to much effect. A carrot is another thing that we can use as a trap, perhaps to distract some horsies if we get the opportunity. Now, let me double check here. I uh, already got the bundle of rope. Next thing we need to hit up is the stables, which I believe is this one right here. Heading into the stables, we want to head over here and pop this open. Get another carrot, which is not necessary, but there is a pile of horse shit, which is handy for uh, our purposes. And another empty bottle. It'll take a moment. And nah. Tempting to have him make one just to, for the purpose of using in the fight, but don't worry, we will be getting an opportunity to see fire bombs in action when we utilize them in the fight. Uh, or in a fight. Don't worry, don't worry. Heading into here, the storehouse, a bunch of items to grab here. Well, okay, there's an empty chest. Then another carrot. And finally, well, no, not a, that. Uh, there we go. Over to that barrel is what has what I'm looking for. A bottle of coal tar. There we go. Now, let me just do a quick inventory here. So, what we wanted to get all together is we want the coal tar, which we have. We want the horse shit, the frying pan, at least one carrot, the shovel, the dynamite. We wanted the rope, the bottled fire, uh, the barkeep's beloved poster, and, of course, the slingshot. Is there anything unaccounted for there? Uh, does not look like it, so we are good to start setting traps. Third bell. So, let's get back to the saloon, and let's get to work on setting the traps here. To get started, we want to talk to the sheriff. Everything you need for your ambush? Yeah. Good. Then it's time to distribute your supplies to the folks here. It goes without saying that some will take longer than others to get things ready. So hurry. Time's a wasting. Alright, so it will take a set amount of time for each person to set their traps, and a couple of the people here can only set specific traps. Billy, in particular, can only set the slingshot trap that uh, he uh, gave to us, so let's have him go take care of that. Meanwhile, Annie can utilize the frying pan. Don't even think about leaving me out because I'm a woman. What can I do to help? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? And we can have her, where is the frying pan? Have her go toss that out there. I'll be back before you know it. And conveniently, that removes her from the saloon. So real quick, we can pop up here and see what that item she was trying to stop oh, from us go. getting. Annie's diary, huh? Well, that happens to be a piece of armor. Let's just at least take a look at that. As you can see, not really that, uh, anything that we can equip. Just her private memories that she keeps under a lock and key, as the thing says there. Now, each, uh, villager can set things at a different rate. Listen, I doubt I'm cut out for whatever you're planning, but if you're short on people, come to me before Cesar. I need you to set a trap. Let's see. What kind of trap you thinking? You, good sir, you can set up the, uh, beloved poster. I got it covered. Ma'am, I need you to set a trap for me. Won't be too much stock in my husband's claim. I handle most of the work at the boarding house. Need you to set a trap. All right, what lady. Kind of Let's see. Uh, I'll have you uh, set up a carrot for us, if you would. Of course. Good sir. Whatever you got in mind, I can probably handle it better than Clint. In that case, a trap. let's uh. Let's uh, have you handle some of the more heavy-duty stuff. Go set the dynamite. You got it, boss. Wayne's not a bad guy, but if you got an important job, leave it to me. I'll get it done faster. Need you to set a trap. All right. What kind of trap you thinking? We'll have you get the firebomb ready. Bomb by me. Now you over here, Cesar. You ain't gonna ask me to pitch in, are you? I mean, I'll do it if I got it, but uh. Need you to set a trap. Well, you see, I've got this, uh, I got this horse shit right here that nobody's doing anything with. Really? Well, uh, 
if you insist. Thank you, I'm glad you're a good sport about that. Somos tres mariachi, habilidoso soy, más útil que Pancho soy. You know, I like the cut of your jib, so. Sancho, let's see here. What kind of trap you thinking? Uh, let's see, have we already set a carrot? We have four all together, yes, uh, we've set a... Have we set a carrot? I already forgot. Well, the ones that we only have one of are easy to keep track of. La vida, el honor y el amor es... Eh, whoops, sorry, cut off his dialogue there. Uh, let's see, who's there? Somos tres mariachi, no soy el mejor ni el peor, pero compa... Well, in that case... Can you, what kind of trap you think? Can you go uh, set this coal tar for us? That would help out immensely. Thank you, good friend. Let's see, Sheriff. And as you can see, we got a uh, variable mix in the uh, soundtrack here. As the mariachi head out to set traps, the background track or background music slowly trims itself down. Sheriff, I want you to set the rope. All right, I'll see to it. And finally, mariachi. A veces algo útil soy, pero mucho no esperen de mí hoy. Well, that's okay, Delos. I'm just gonna have you set a carrot just in case I forgot, because <laughs> I, I genuinely wasn't paying attention. I'm good at this game. Que la verdad de verdad es que no quiero esta trampa iré a preparar porque la vida está llena de compromisos. It's always important to have a good attitude about these things. With that all said and done, we're only at the third bell, and uh, we've got all the traps lined up to be set. So I think it's time to uh, get hammered. We're just killing time here. I suppose I could pour you a drink. Could use that. Could use that. Wasn't always like this. Oh, if you'd seen this place at its peak. Okay, traps ready. I finished. Hey, Andy, I, I found this thing in your uh, room. Don't even think about leaving me out because I'm a woman. What can I do to help? That was the third bell just now. Uh, do I need to equip the diary? That was the third. Uh, let's uh give that a. Let's equip that real quick just to see. I know there's something that you can do with the diary here. Oh uh, wait, no, I give it to her as a trap. I got it. That was the third. So let's uh unequip that. Get my jacket back on. Need you to set a trap. Annie, what, what kind of trap you think? Annie, what do you think you can do with this diary? Hey! This ain't no library! You're on thin ice, you two! I guess we kinda deserve that. But you do get a Steam achievement for doing that. Anyway, it's time to get drunk. Pour me a double. Pour me a double. Hmm. Well, where was I? I lost my train of thought there. Fourth bell, kid. Pour me a double. Oh, right. <laughs> the good old days. Not just for the town, but for yours truly. Okay. Traps ready. Yeah, the sheriff was nice and quick with that. But yeah, we're just going to keep getting trashed until the all the traps are set. Pour me a double. Oh, but... Don't misunderstand me. I was never the type to, uh, get attached. Okay. Trap's ready. Pour me a double. Though, <laughs> come to think of it, Jane was a sweet little thing, wasn't she? Fifth bell. Pour me a double. Not that you ever realize it at the time. But life rarely turns out the way you hope or expect. Okay. Trap's ready. Pour me a double. 
<laughs> Nothing revelatory there, I suppose. Every youngin starts out a hopeful idiot. Okay. Pour me a double. Tell you what, though. If there's one thing that'll cure a man of blind optimism, it's a woman. Okay. Traps ready. Pour me a double. Wasn't always like this. Oh, if you'd seen this place at its peak. Sixth bell. I think I got it right. I'm sorry, I think his dialogue's starting to loop at this point, so uh, let's just uh, start speeding through this. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's just, he's, just, uh, he's just going through it, so all the traps are starting to be set. We are sufficiently drunk, prepared for the... Uh, it coming battle. I'm sure this is not going to affect Sundown's performance at all. Okay, it looks like the four men are back. The uh, Marayachi are almost finished with their tasks. Their tasks. Okay, traps ready. And I got every the achievement for setting every trap, so I did get a carrot set. So uh, I was being needlessly paranoid with that. But hey, better safe than sorry, right? And just keep pouring me drinks, bartender. I had a long day. Okay. And there we go. All traps have been set. Everybody got to do a little bit of something. Now, one more drink to pass the time. <laughs> Nothing revelatory there. Hey, kid. That's the eighth bell. Thank God, finally. After three days and three nights of walking through the desert, civilization, at long last, see what? The good Lord hasn't forsaken us. In the hell, someone put this here, of all places. <sighs> that's just... That's just weird. You will come outside and present yourselves to me at once. Refuse, and we will treat you as we would any other pests and smoke you out of your burrow. Mister? It's time, Mad Dog. You got that right. 
I've been waiting to look this devil in the eye. I'm coming too. Today is not the day for you to find your courage. Should the worst come to the worst, should the two of us be killed, it falls to you to protect these people. But you won't be killed, right, kid? Of course not. Go get him! It is you, then. You who educated Pack and his brothers so deftly in the ways of war. I owe you a debt for the generosity you showed my disciples. We are men of violence, yes, but we are nevertheless men. And so, I will repay you in our common currency. In blood, and lead, and death! It's a standoff with Odio. As you can see, he's wielding a Gatling gun, Jesse Ventura style. We do have a bit of cover behind the boulders if we want a break for that, but that should not be necessary. It's a 2 to 1 advantage, regardless of his weaponry. So, let's uh, show this guy what for. He isn't resistant to anything. Uh, let's see. Let's go for a hollow point. Oh, oops. Need to move. Uh... Oh dear. Here comes a warning shot. Wasn't paying attention to my range there. Luckily, get a quick draw counter. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's uh, let's just move to this uh, boulder. Hollow point. Mad Dog, on the other hand. Dance for me. <laughs> Mad Dog, we want him to move up to uh, Dio's side. Hopefully, the stun goes through on this hollow point. Did not, but we want him to go to his side, and we want him to use the Texas Jitterbug. This hits 15 times. Incredibly good attack. And it forces uh, Odio to move. Anyways, let's uh, throw out another hollow point. The main thing I'm hoping for is that the stun goes through on the hollow point. If that goes through, Texas Jitterbug will deal some insane damage. Luckily, it's doing enough to just rotate Odio. If you are dealing with the entire crazy bunch, uh, it uh, can be a little tricky to prevent his Gatling fire from going through. But we're not having too bad a problem with that. Here comes the Gatling Barrage. Yeah, and unfortunately, not really much of a chance of surviving that. But we are doing fine enough. So he's going to use the Bugle Charge, take out Mad Dog. Oh, never mind. He's uh, That's a healing move. Okay. In that case, uh, let's see here. We need to uh, get the Mir Miracle Tonic to get Mad Dog back in the fray. And let's see. Does he have an instant use? Uh, ooh. That one's a bit rough. Yeah, I just got him back in the fray. That's okay, though. We got one more. We got one more. I'll thank you not to mention this again. <laughs> okay, use another Texas Jitterbug there. Good enough, good enough. And it rotates him, so that uh, ends his turn. You know what? Let's just, uh... Uh... Yeah, let's just pass. Get another Texas Jitterbug charging up. Luckily, it charges super fast. There we go. Odio defeated. Not a terribly difficult boss fight if you take out all of his crazy bunch. Now I know what you're thinking. What if you didn't bother setting any traps, or you just uh, didn't even realize you could set any traps, or you did things incorrectly, or whatever? Alright, so here we are in the SFC version, because I gotta fit this in somehow for uh, this Let's Play. And as you can see, there is no... Uh, 
what is it, track showing us what exactly the amount of bells we have left, but I have fast-forwarded fast forwarded time so that we are at the seventh bell and we are just about ready for Odio's gang to rain down upon us, but I have not set any traps. Now, for uh, the best odds of success, I have made all the Molotov cocktails that we can possibly make. I've made four altogether, picked up the dynamite because we can also use it in battle, and we've got our healing items in this version of the game. We got bourbon, we got tequila, we've got cigars. We are all set for battle with that kind of uh, loadout of uh, medicine. As you can see in this version of the game, uh, Sundown, like a lot of the characters, has a bit less HP to work with. Although, funnily enough, Pogo actually kind of has more HP in this version than he does in the uh, HD version. Mad Dog is also a bit more even with uh, Sundown. I actually wasn't able to find a second Peacemaker for one reason. I'm sure there is one, and I just didn't find it, but uh, that's not really going to matter for the fight with that, that we're about to get into. One thing I would like to uh, comment on, though, is uh, in this version of the game, I really love the uh, town music for this version of the game. Highly rec recommend looking up both versions of the OST. They did a great job with the soundtrack in this game. Just wanted to pop out quickly to show this off. If this was a uh, if this w video wasn't running longer, I'd probably just stop and listen to this song for a little bit. But we are on. Not exactly a schedule here, but I think I've wasted enough of your time, and there was so much dialogue in this video so, thus far. I probably could have split this into two, but just feels good as one video, you know? Anyway, the eighth bell has tolled. And once again, Watt and his father, hmm feel like there's something going on with those names there. But anyways, as the crazy bunch are riding into town, Watt and his father once again try to enter. Whew. After walking three days and three nights, we finally found a town, Watt. And as you hear the clip-clop clip that sounds like a bunch of coconuts being uh, slammed together in 16 bits, the crazy bunch ride into town completely uncontested. Actually, those guys just blew right past the saloon. I guess they're all deciding to reconvene, and then they will just be helmed by Odio here. Y'all got 10 seconds to get out of there! Or else, I'll turn the bar into a beehive. Mister! Let's go, mad dog. Yeah. Let's have a good look at Dio's mug. I'm going too. You stay here. In the unlikely event that, well, if we're killed, you're the only one who can protect the townsfolk. You're gonna win, right? Absolutely. I've totally practiced this ahead of time to make sure I've got the battle unlocked. I believe in you. Don't worry, the first time I played this game as a teenager, I had no idea how you were supposed to set traps because I never talked to the sheriff a second time. So I just had to take these guys on in a straight fight, like we're about to do so right now. I've done this before. If I can do it when I was 15, as surely I can do it when I'm 30. Once again, punching our way through the saloon doors one last time for the purposes of this video. Let's go. So, another one wasted pike. What do you think you can do? Against this Gatling gun! As you can see, this is quite the crowd that we have to deal with here. However, we're not going to engage these guys just with our guns. We need to thin the herd a little bit. So, the best way to open if you're deciding to fight everybody uh, of the crazy bunch, rather than just using traps to take them out, you want to start with the dynamite, which will allow you to blow a huge swath through these guys, throw it in the center for best results, and the most guys hit. 
As you can see, that'll also set up a nice bit of fire uh, pits for us, dealing some additional damage to these guys. Alright, so we got some warning shots heading our way. But the fire field will do a good job thinning this crowd for us. Uh, let's see, let's uh, have Mad Dog throw a Molotov cocktail. Uh, actually, nah, let's uh, have him instead use his Texas Jitterbug and just deal with the guys that are around us. 15 hits going around in a circle. As you can see, uh, rotating all these guys, gonna be a little bit trickier for them to hit us. As you can see, these guys don't actually deal that much damage, funnily enough, so it really is not that threatening. Uh, let's see here. What we want to do is use a piercing shot down the line here. Just let, uh, what is it, uh, Sundown charge that up. Fire a lightning shot here. Unfortunately, it does not have penetrating, so it goes right through, uh, or right into that guy that was right in uh, Mad Dog's way. Another nice bit of damage from the fire field there. Let's have Mad Dog toss a Molotov cocktail over to these guys over here. Should deal some pretty good damage. Ooh, wow. Actually, really solid damage. And another piercing shot. Take down this line of guys. Uh, do I want to throw the next Molotov cocktail? Yeah, yeah. Let's go for another Molotov cocktail. Deal some good damage on these guys. Take all of them out. Getting a little low on HP here, but I'm not overly concerned at the moment. Fortunately for us, uh, because it's so crowded, Dio is actually not able to hit us so easily. Uh, let's uh, use, uh, is it, no, it's not the cigar, I believe it's the tequila, yes, tequila, get our HP going. I'm gonna have Mad Dog move up and start using Texas Jitterbug to uh, hit those two guys. Got hit with a warning shot there, but I'm not overly, Oop. unfortunately, we're a little bit uh, tipsy here, so our uh, movement a little uh, screwed up. Let's fire another piercing shot. What's the thrown rope do? As long as it doesn't move us, and it hits that guy with a counter. Fire field coming through with the damage. I'm not overly concerned with that. Piercing shot going through. Hopefully we've done enough damage to take these two out. Not quite, but we did get one of them. Alright. Mad Dog can finally get in position. We can finally use this Texas Jitterbug. Deal some good damage to these guys. This one also seems to be practically instant activate in this version. Get hit with a horse spin. I'm not overly concerned with that. The Throne Rope, on the other hand, might need to have Mad Dog healing himself when he gets his turn back. Oh dear. Uh, let's see here. Uh, actually, let's uh, start using some of our cigars up. Get a little bit of healing going there. Just take a nice smoke break. Ooh, dear. Damage is starting to come in fast and heavy. Mad Dog, looks like you could use a little smoke break as well. And with that healing in, let's uh, get in position. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Oh, dear. Unfortunately, not really much I could have done to react to that better. Let's uh, use uh, the last bit of tequila we got here. Gonna have to get into a bit of a better position. Let's uh, have uh, Sundown move to hereabouts, or when I actually get to move, move to hereabouts, and let's hurl the Molotov cocktails we got. Let's, uh, nah, we need to hit these two guys right here, so we'll throw it right here. Should deal some pretty good damage to these guys. Okay, uh, we'll have... Uh, Mad Dog, throw another Molotov cocktail. Should get that member, those two members of the Crazy Bunch taken care of. Here comes a warning shot from Odio. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pass. We're gonna move out of uh, Odio's range. Let's uh, go for a, not a sidewinder, a lightning shot on this guy. Hitting him right in the back, so that should take him out just fine. Shoutouts to Hannah Crucis who confirmed for me that uh, yes, positional, uh, or your position relative to the enemy does actually affect how much damage you deal to them, as well as giving you an accuracy bonus. Get a multi-counter here. Now one thing I actually want to get into position to show off is that uh, double shot, uh, when we can actually hit with it. The diagonal was a little undesirable for me there. Double shot is a lot stronger in this version. Let's see, uh, we want to go up and Texas Jitterbug if I can. Ooh dear. Well, that's unfortunate. And unfortunately, we've used our last bourbon, so we're not going to be able to uh, get uh, Sundown back into the fight. Not a big deal, though. We should be able to handle it with Mad Dog. Just have to be mindful of when Odio turns to us. Uh, because, uh, of course, that means that we have a potential counter Gatling Burst coming our way. 
Okay, so what do I want to do? Oh dear. It's getting a little dicey here. Let's uh, use up uh, one of our shots of bourbon here. Okay. Not going to be able to move away, but... Oh dear. Can't use the Texas jitterbug when you're drunk. We'll just hit him with a single shot, and ooh, I, I screwed up. Alright, here I am, uh, deeper into the fight again, in a bit of a better position. Just don't stand diagonal to Dio like I kind of foolishly did, and you should be fine. Naturally, I said I could defeat the or beat this uh, version of the fight, no problem, was a teenager, and I set myself to screw up. But, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Fortunately, if we uh, pincer him like this... Well, not exactly a pincer formation, but I'm sure you get what I mean. We can just uh, repeatedly pelt him with our shots. Lightning Shot is probably uh, Mad Dog's better move in this version. Has a stun chance, and it deals pretty good damage on the whole, particularly if all the multiple hits go through. And we'll just pepper this guy with double shots, uh, counters, and all that good stuff. I'm not overly concerned about his warning shots. With the jacket equipped on Sundown, he gets pretty good defense against that. There we go. As you can see, I just played a little sloppy in the previous instance of the fight. There we go. With that said and done, back to the HD version. Are you alright, mister? As I live and breathe, did he just turn into a horse? Lord have mercy. It's true. Until Odeo came along, story was that the Sioux and Cheyenne had massacred Custer Seventh. Not a man survived, but a single Union horse did. And they said he was death itself. And maybe they were right. Born of those fallen soldiers. Something cruel and primal. He never slept, they said. Never slept and would never die. I don't know how to thank you, kid. Or maybe I do. Stranger. That's all well and good for you, but not for me. You neither, kid. We've got unfinished business, you and I. That's right. Dio together, didn't you? Stay out of it. This is between me and him. Ain't that right, kid? Yeah. Okay, then. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, 
In the final duel with Mad Dog, after realizing that Odio was actually just a ghost horse, we could just start blasting him with double shots and hollow points to take him out, but if you actually check your uh, menu, you'll see that the flea option is enabled. If you choose to gun down Mad Dog, well, this is the time that he'll actually die. We can flee, though. <laughs> See you soon, kid. times like this, but I suppose I ought to thank you. Oh, I'll do it! Thank you for everything, mister. Oh, actually, if I can ask you for something... If it's about the badge, it's okay. I don't need it anymore. Just a piece of cheap tin in the end. I reckon I can serve these people as their sheriff well enough without it. One more thing. We can't leave you with just words. There's something else we ought to give you. I'm afraid we don't have a lot to offer. Just a few bits of loose gold. But if you want it, it's yours. Will you take it? I don't want your money. Huh? Really? It's been a long, long time. Since I had the chance to do something good. And decent. That's reward enough. Oh, kid. as the fastest lawman in the West. But as his legend grew, more and more gunslingers hoping to make their own came calling. Came to a head when a gang of outlaws rode through his town, leaving all manner of tragedy in their wake. Not long after, he vanished, and then a bounty was put up for a theretofore unheard of renegade. A fortune to tempt the greedy to follow him into the desert. A means to make amends or earn a final reprieve. The kid. Hey, mister! Kid! We'll never forget you!
Yoo-ho. <laughs> Didn't think we'd meet again so soon, did you? It's like something out of a Greek myth, don't you think? This bomb, this never-ending story of ours. Except an ending's exactly what we're gonna write today. Hmm? Horse looks familiar, does it? <laughs> well, it should. It's Odeo. Or what's left of him. He's a wild bastard. Untamable at heart. Not unlike myself. I dare say we're a match made in heaven. Or hell. Draw! Naturally, if you elected to gun down Mad Dog earlier, this scene would not happen. The reason I decided not to gun down Mad Dog is because literally no other changes to the ending happen. You just do not get this final scene. Now, there is one other thing you can do here. What if we just pass repeatedly? and uh, let Mad Dog attack us. First off, his Texas Jitterbug doesn't really do anything, but let's just keep passing. He'll go for a Sidewinder instead. Hit us for some pretty sizable damage. Uh, actually, I didn't want that quick draw to go off. Uh, let's uh, heal up, uh, let's uh, use some Jerky here. Get a moderate self-heal. May as well use up these items that I did not really need to use in the fight. We just needed the uh, Miracle Tonics, really. He'll hit us with his Texas Jitterbug once again. Here comes another quick drop. Uh, I've heard that if you uh, go long enough in the fight without attacking, eventually Mad Dog will just start intentionally missing you. Now look, it doesn't look like I'm having much luck with that, and unfortunately I think uh, Mad Dog is about to get himself killed through counterattacks. Fortunately, you don't have to worry. You probably noticed that the Flea Command is once again grayed out. That is not an option that we have here. We have to actually fight it out here. Here comes another Sidewinder. And yeah, it looks like the thing that I thought would happen is not happening. We are rapidly blasting him down with quick draws, so let's just go for a double shot and take him out. Don't worry though, if you're a fan of Mad Dog, just watch what happens. God damn it! Don't you leave me here in the dirt with my shame again! Wait, damn you! Whoa, boy! Again? You shot my horse out from under me again? Get back here! Oh, Dio! And with that, that chapter is already finished. One of the shorter chapters in the game ran a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I felt good in making this one one video. And frankly, I am extremely confident in making the next chapter we're going to be hitting a one video because it is the shortest chapter in the game. You already guessed it, it's the Daikatana chapter. See you then.